Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video we'll be doing the unboxing and have a first look at this uh, new smartphone from a company known as Techno and the model is Camon Eye. And you might be wondering why am I doing the unboxing of this device. Quite a few of you have asked me that uh, last year you were annoyed that I was not looking at new smartphones that were launching in India and it says this is made for India. And uh, this company actually claimed that um, this smartphone has a very modern new design and it's on a budget but still they are claiming that this one has a very good camera both the front and the rear facing camera. So I thought why not let's have a look and here as you can see it uh, gives us idea about some of the specs it has a 5.65 inch uh, display but again it's in the new uh, aspect ratio 18 is to 9 that we are seeing with the, uh, some new phones and uh, both the camera the front facing and the rear are 13 megapixel it says it also has a fingerprint scanner obviously 4g volte and other stuff so let's just quickly open this up and let's have a look Let's just open this up. And regarding the pricing, yeah, the price quoted here on the box is 9,999, but uh, the price is actually 8,999. So uh, it's for 9,000 rupees. So let's just open this up and have a look. And as you can see, uh, the packaging actually looks really good, as you can see. So looks has that sleek uh, design. Uh, it says they're calling it infinity screen and front 13 and uh, rear 13 uh, megapixel camera and 4G obviously and fingerprint sensor. So let's just take this out. So yes, uh, it has that new design and in fact I would say uh, it's a similar to the Galaxy SA that also looks like this. It also has a front facing flash I can see here and if you notice closely a screen guard is also pre-applied on this device. So back let's take out. So it says Techno and we have the fingerprint scanner and a 13 megapixel rear facing camera. So the back is metallic body that we are getting and the handset is actually uh, pretty light but let's see what else do we get in the box apart from that. So we have some stuff over here. So a booklet and also a bumper case that we are getting a plastic bumper case with the same so that is supplied and it says 12 plus 1 warranty that means uh, they're giving two years warranty so that's a nice thing so and it says commitment of 100 days swap warranty so this is interesting we haven't seen this so that's what it is and some uh, mini manual user manual I won't get into this uh, basic uh, stuff and uh, we also have the sim ejector tool over here let me keep this to the side so we get a charger this is a 5 volt 1.2 amp charger that we are getting so it's a regular charger that we are getting and what's this some earbud steps so they have also bundled a headset let's look at this one so it's in your style that you are getting as you can see uh, and uh, it says techno over here so we have a microphone here and one button to take our end calls so that's the headset keep that to the side and a standard uh, usb 2 uh, micro usb cable that you are getting so that's what we get in the box let me keep that to the side and let's have a look at the handset itself so this is the handset itself again from the front it is completely black as you can see no branding the branding is here only at the back it just says techno and for the physical overview on the top we have the 3.5 mm headphone jack as you can see let me zoom in a little bit and uh, here we have the volume rockers and the power on off button nothing over here again this is metallic on the bottom one went uh, for the speaker micro usb port uh, microphone and on this end looks like the sim tray let's look at it just want to check what is the configuration and uh, nice to see that it's a proper dual sim plus a micro sd card so no hybrid solution with this so it's nice to see that they are giving this option and uh, let's just put this back and uh, now let me actually uh, boot this up let's power this up it gave me haptic feedback and by the time it actually boots up let me give you a configuration overview 
This uh, Techno Camon I is uh, having a 5.65 inch screen in the new 18 to 9 aspect uh, ratio. It has 3 GB of RAM, 32 GB of internal storage. It is powered by a MediaTek quad core uh, processor. It is having a dual SIM with a dedicated micro SD card slot. Moving to the camera, we have a 13 megapixel uh, rear facing camera with uh, uh, auto focusing, and uh, even the front facing camera is actually a 13 megapixel uh, shooter. It also has a fingerprint scanner and a 3 1050 milliamp hour battery. So I have set up this device and I played with it. I also took some uh, camera snaps. I'll talk about the camera later on. Uh, so this is the interface that you get and it's a custom interface that you are getting. They are calling it high OS. Uh, so it's a little bit different as you can see. It has those animations and stuff. Uh, and this is the quick toggle that you have. Obviously it has auto brightness sensor. Some of the other quick toggles. Let's see what's the Android version that we are getting with this. So uh, it's uh, having the Android version seven that is no good out of the box. So still it no good. And these buttons, uh, you uh, on-screen buttons are there with this. And it says that the high OS version is uh, version 3.2.0. So that's what you're getting. And let's look at the storage. I didn't add any, uh, what do you say, SD card. So this is what we are getting. Uh, regarding the storage, out of that 32, about 20.42 uh, uh, GB is used. Uh, I've taken a lot of snaps and installed some apps. So roughly about 21 GB will be there. So that's regarding that. And if you just go back over here, so definitely a custom uh, uh, UI that you have a little bit on this. So that's what you have. And again, it's a dual SIM. I didn't add a, a SIM card as of now, but that's what you're getting. And the handset is actually relatively light to hold. And in terms of looks, it actually looks uh, uh, premium as you can see. Uh, let's check the fingerprint scanner. I've put it on standby. So as you can see, uh, the fingerprint scanner is actually fast, it works. It doesn't give any haptic feedback, just unlocks like this when you just place your finger on it. So that was regarding the fingerprint uh, scanner. And uh, as you can see, some widgets and stuff are already pre-installed. And also uh, there's WhatsApp, uh, Facebook, etc. were pre-installed. So these were the apps that were pre-installed on this one. Obviously, uh, Google apps are also uh, pre-installed. And as of now, I played with this device for some time. Uh, the UI didn't uh, lag or anything like that. Uh, so that's a good thing. Uh, but again, they are using a MediaTek uh, chipset, which is slightly on the older side. I would say it's a, a quad core processor, but as of now, uh, it is handling it well. I also was playing around with its camera. I've taken a lot of actually pictures with this one. Uh, and in fact, uh, the camera performance was surprisingly good. I'll show you uh, all those uh, samples later on. Uh, but I even took some selfies and stuff. So they came out actually really good. Generally in budget oriented phones, camera is one thing that has been ignored. But uh, on this phone, I think so the camera might be the highlighting thing. Let's just open up the camera. So this is the camera interface that you see. So nothing that spectacular. So you have the photo, video, and also the beauty and the panorama mode over here. And uh, we also have HDR. By default, the HDR A was enabled. This is how it comes. So that's what it is. And as you can see, it is really fast the shutter speed and out of focusing is also there. You can adjust the exposure directly from here. So you have some control over here. And as you can see, the shutter speed is actually fast on this one. So here are some sample shots that I've shot with this device. And this was uh, in my roof uh, garden uh, with this device. This was a selfie, but I was also traveling to Dubai. So also took some casual snaps, as you can see, when I was traveling to Dubai and even Amit Bhavani was there. This is a selfie that he took. And as you can see, in terms of image quality, considering the price point of this device, uh, it was actually really good. As you can see, uh, these shots that I've shot uh, in the full auto mode with this device. So considering the budget oriented price of this device i feel the camera performance of this uh, techno camo one is actually pretty good so here we are in dubai actually this is alfredi street as you can see amit is also there and this is a place uh, that we often visit in dubai uh, where we are buying a lot of camera gear because accessories and stuff, stuff new because 
because generally we get very good rates over here. And best part is we at least get stocks. I we mean, get you, stocks, we, yeah. last time we went to the Dubai mall, Actually, we didn't have stock for in a Dubai, camera. I would say uh, you should shop for camera lenses. They're a lot better priced than in India, right? Right, right, right. So this is what? This is a new phone. Uh, no, this we are recording with the front, uh, front camera, camera of the uh, Techno phone. Techno phone. So again, you guys, uh, let us know. As you can see, this is right now on the streets a lot of noise also so do let us know how do you feel how is the footage so guys that's it for now for the quick unboxing and first look at this camon i so what do you guys think about this camon i i feel uh, the highlighting point about this device is that styling because of that 18 to 9 aspect uh, ratio and a camera would be the highlighting point about this device so guys uh, that's it for now for this unboxing if you have any other questions do post them in the youtube comment section below i'll try to include them in my future videos and if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video